Hello everyone and I welcome you all in this learning video where we are going to start the very new topic that is partial differential equations. So before we start the partial differential equation I would like you to know the wonderful applications of this partial differential equation. So partial differential equation is widely used in solving uh, the heat equation, wave equation, Laplace equation. It is also used in the vibrational mechanics. Then it is also used in electrical circuit, uh, oscillation of string and uh, fluid mechanics. Uh, and those who are in the uh, electronics and telecommunication, so for those uh, students, uh, PDE has its application in uh, radio and telegraph equation. Okay, so these are the applications that we have for partial differential equation. Now let me start with the basic. Okay, uh, when, when we have uh, learned the ordinary differential equation, so we always be having y is equal to f of x, right? So when y is equal to f of x, what we can say, we say that this y, this y, depends on x y depends on x so this y becomes dependent variable y becomes dependent variable and this x is nothing but independent variable independent variable okay so whenever there is one independent variable the derivatives which will be involved are the ordinary derivatives and the equation which contains ordinary derivatives are called as ordinary differential equations but that is not the topic that we are going to learn we are going to learn the partial differential equations so if we have a function say z is equal to f of x y if suppose we have this function what we can say here we can say that z depends on x as well as z depends on y if z depends on x and z depends on y what is the dependent variable here here we have z as a dependent variable okay and these x and y, these x and y are independent variable, independent variable. So what we can conclude is when there are more than one independent variables are there, partial derivatives are involved and we write those partial derivatives like uh, uh, del z by del x or del z by del y or say del 2 z by del x del 2 z by del x del x del y something like that okay so an equation which involves partial derivatives is known as partial differential equations so i hope the definition is uh, clear to you and uh, uh, you know how to uh, distinguish between whether we will be having a partial differential equation or a ordinary differential equation. So in ordinary differential equation, we are always having one independent quantity. Whereas in the partial differential equation, we have more than independent quantity. So can you able to uh, write the definition for partial differential equation? What it should be? A differential equation which involves partial derivatives is known as is known as partial differential equation okay so if you want i can write it like definition an equation an equation involving an equation involving partial derivatives partial derivatives an equation involving partial derivatives is called one or more you can make it more precisely an equation involving one or more partial derivatives 
is called as is called as partial differential equation in short we are going to call it as pde okay so this is pde can you give me some examples or can you able to write uh, some examples like examples of pde so i can write like z del z by del y plus z del z by del x is equal to zero this is one of the example of differential partial differential equations now i want you to pause the video for a few seconds and try to write at least one at least one example of partial differential equation so pause the video write the partial differential equation and resume the video till then i am also writing the example okay so thank you uh, and you might have written an example so let me write it like del 2z by del x square plus del 2z by del y square is equal to say 0 okay you may be having z also it is not necessary you will always be having a z I always be having 0 sometimes you will be having z 2z and so on okay so <clears throat> i hope the definition and the example is clear to you now we can talk about the order and degree order and degree order and degree of p d e order and degree of p d e so what is the order of the uh, differential equation the highest order involved in a given partial differential equation is called order of that differential equation for example suppose i am having this so consider this example okay and let me make it something differently okay now see this example so what is the highest derivative involved in this uh, equation highest this is first derivative this is second derivative so what i can say the order of this differential equation is order is equal to 2 okay what is the order of this differential equation order of this differential equation is 3 likewise we can define the degree the power of the highest order derivatives is nothing but the degree of pd so what is the highest order when you look for the degree you just see the highest order this is the highest order and what is its power 1 so you can write order 1 degree 1 and here also order is 1 and degree is also 1 order 1 degree 1 okay so is it clear to you is this clear to you so if this is clear to you we can go for the notations <coughs> mm, okay next is uh, notations notations so now see the notations now so if z is equal to f of x y be a function of two variables where z is dependent and x y are independent then we will be stick with the notations throughout the chapter or throughout the unit okay then you need to remember the notations okay so the notations are p p is nothing but del z by del y q is equal to del z by sorry p is equal to del z by del x q is equal to del z by del y r is equal to del 2 z by del x square t is equal to del 2 z by del y square and s is equal to del 2 z by del x del y so these are the notation you should be stick with in order to 
get the things in easiest way because uh, most of the time you may be encountered with such notations like solve the differential equation xp plus yq is equal to x squared plus y squared so you should know what is this p and q rst okay if you are having some trouble in remembering this okay let me give you this rule of five this rule of five says this is my p this is my Q, this is my R, this is my T and this is my S. Okay, so this is P means del Z by del X. This is Q means del Z by del Y. This is R del 2 Z by del X square and this is, this is T not S. This T means del 2 Z by del Y square and this is T which is different. Okay, so this T means del 2 Z by del X del Y. Okay. So, uh, I hope this, this uh, things are making sense. And we are going to uh, take uh, a very wonderful tap, uh, topic in the next uh, video, which is the formation of, uh, formation of partial differential equations. And uh, the importance of that topic is in the examination. Uh, like uh, IES or in the even in the gate examination there may be a question like form the differential equations so thank you for watching this learning video enjoy learning mathematics and thank you